Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to turn your bath soap into shower gel. My name is Obapa Ekrieskini and you are all welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to use kakumba, lemon, and a bar soap and i'm going to turn this into a shower gel a creamy shower gel which really foam very well and also remove that skin it has a lot of benefit so first you wash your cucumber and your lemon and you cut your cucumber into smaller pieces the reason i'm using cucumber is because cucumber is very good for acne prone skin it's also good for skin hydration and it's very very good for dark circles and rest it have a lot of skin benefit and i'm using lemon so what i'm doing now is i'm going to juice my lemon i want the juice and you know lemon juice too can lighten and skin that spot and it's very good for skin and lemon also is a natural preservative which is very good because this shower gel we are not going to use uh, any preservative our preservative is going to be our lemon and honey because honey too is a natural preservative so you juice your lemon we need the juice for the soup and i'm going to juice my cucumber too and we need our cucumber juice too so i'm using something natural that can help lighten your skin or whitening your skin or brightening your skin any way you want to go so i'm using this rice soap it's made with rice extract and it's very good and it's made from nano you can use any soap of your choice it's not compulsory to use the soap i'm using so all you need to do is to shred your soap into smaller pieces this will make it easy for us to dissolve our bar soap and the soap too can lighten in that spot it's good for acne and somebody will say it can whiten in too. It depends how you see it. So I will take the measurement of the soap. I just wanted to know how much soap I have so that I will know how much liquid I have to add to it. And my liquid is going to be the lemon juice and the cucumber juice. So now I'm going to add my lemon juice to it. And I'll write the recipe down in the description box so that you can make you know the measurements that i use so that you can make it so you add your lemon juice and you, i'm going to add my cucumber juice too this is very simple and this soap foam very very well and it works too after i have measured my ingredient i'm going to stir this what i'm going to do is to just stir it and put it aside so that i can measure my honey so you stir very well and the soap smells so good so i choose not to use a fragrant or essential oil because the soap have its own smell and the lemon and the cucumber really gave it a nice smell so i choose not to add any fragrance to it next i'm going to measure my honey honey is good for moisturizing the skin and it's, con it's also a natural preservative what i'm doing is to blend my soap so that it can be creamy for me creamy gel for me so you blend your soap and make sure that all your soap has blended so that you don't have any shredded soap in it and the soap smells so good so after i blend my soap a while i will add my honey to it and blend it again and we are going to get all the skin benefit very good for those who have body acne and dust spots and this soap is good for the face and the body so you can use it twice a day morning and night and so after i'm done blending the soap what i'm going to do is to pour it into my clean sanitized bottle and it's ready to use so easy look how creamy it is very creamy and it's foam very well please 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 every time you watch my video watch it to the end so that you can ask me questions if you have any question so i will pour water into my empty container and see how the soap foam i hope you can see it is foam really really well 
so thanks for watching this video don't forget to subscribe like my video share my video and click on the notification bell